don't you worry, don't you cry, I can promise, it gets better in time, keep your head up, keep your shine, hold my hand up, it gets better in time. my channel if you are new baby hit the subscribe button because you're gonna want to stay if you're returning hey besties it's so good to see you guys again so as you can tell by today's title we're getting into like a it's kind of a meal prep but like just a cook with re kind of deal like the last time because this past week i ordered hello fresh for the first time this is not sponsored i definitely spent my own money purchasing that hello fresh box but hello fresh if you want to sponsor me my email's down below in the description box okay Anyway, so I wanted to share with you guys some recipes that I tried out this week. I tried out three of them. I got the steakhouse style pork chops, which you'll see I swapped for chicken. I also got the pork bulgogi, pork bulgogi, pork bulgogi, okay. But I swapped the pork for turkey. And then I also got the salmon limon, limone. Own. It's one of them, but these are the three that I got and honestly every single one of these meals were a 10 out of freaking 10 Okay, I absolutely loved HelloFresh. I was really like what's the hype about? I wanted to see what the hype was about but now I get the hype anyway So I just wanted to share with you guys these meals now each of the meals each of the recipes when they come They have like how many calories per serving But I don't actually have a macro breakdown because I didn't like portion out everything like how I usually do But I can just share with you that the calories for the pork bulgogi bowls or the turkey bulgogi bowls is 800 calories now that is dependent for me i cut my rice in like a third so um i don't believe i was at a full 800 calories i also consume 1800 to 1950 calories daily and i only eat two meals a day so really it, i wouldn't have minded actually just consuming the whole 800 calories because i know my other meals were not 800 calories but i'm just gonna let that be what it is but that has 800 calories oh actually because i got turkey it was seven 730 calories so it's even less and then for the salmon limon it was 700 calories I know mine wasn't a full 700 calories because I didn't use some of the stuff that it initially came with. And then the steakhouse style chicken, cause I, I swapped my pork chops for chicken, was 550 calories with the swap for chicken. So I won't have actual macro breakdown, just the calories there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I was eating this week because honestly, HelloFresh was a 10 out of 10. It's definitely a great investment. It honestly might even be cheaper than my weekly groceries for real for real. They give you just enough of what you need. Like you don't have anything left over use everything up it's perfect honestly and it was minimal cleanup so definitely a ton on this time recommend this for you i will have all of the recipes down below in the description box just in case you missed anything that i'm doing because like i said like everything on the back of the card it tells you exactly what you need to be doing so i will just type that up and have it down below in the description box for you guys if you're interested in these recipes but are not really wanting to go and get hello fresh i get it i'll just put the recipes down below in the description box for you guys this is a pretty basic cook with re video because like i said i didn't create any of these meals so i I was really just going off of Hello Fresh, but one thing I will say is this. Y'all know how your girl likes to season food, right? First of all, we're all gonna give me a hand clap at the end of this video because I did not put red chili flakes in nothing. I didn't put it in any dish, and let me tell you why, because all of the seasonings, with the exception of like the seasoning packets, like the Italian seasoning or the steak seasoning, the only seasonings they told me to use were salt and pepper. I caved and I had to start using some of my own seasonings, but I really was trying. I really was trying. I promise, I promise you I was. But y'all better give me a hand clap in the comment section because I did not use not one red chili flake. And that's big, that's big for me. But anyways, I'm not gonna keep rambling because y'all know I like to talk to you guys and I just feel like it's been a long time since I put a video out. So like, I wanna naturally just talk to you guys. But I know you guys wanna see the food. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this video. Okay, so for our first meal, I'm making these pork bulgogi bowls with carrots, pickled cucumber, and sriracha crema. I swapped the ground pork for ground turkey because I just prefer turkey, but feel free to keep the pork. I love these meals because they're super quick and everything that you need to know about them including the recipe how to prepare it is all on the card so let's go ahead and break down all the components that we're going to need so everything comes in these bags so I have the ground turkey followed by a little package of some sesame seeds shredded carrots 
one cucumber, the bulgogi sauce. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I am. If not, y'all know what I'm saying. Some scallions, some jasmine rice, and then they gave me, me a couple of packets of sriracha, some vinegar, and sour cream, but I don't like sour cream, so I'm not using it. I'm gonna prepare is the rice because it takes the longest so the recipe called for three quarters of a cup of water but I swapped mine for chicken broth added a little bit of salt for flavor and then waited for the water to boil and added my washed jasmine rice gave it a good mix you see there's a lot of steam going on here it was a nice facial but yeah so that's done I'm just gonna put the lid on and allow the rice to cook here is where the utter chaos started, but I'm gonna be making some pickled cucumbers now. This would be easy for someone who has a vegetable peeler. I do not have one, so I'm gonna use a knife and this was just very chaotic. But I sped it up so that we don't have to embarrass ourselves and voila, thinly sliced cucumbers. Look at that one, that's a good one. Now I'm just gonna place them in the bowl and add half of the vinegar. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of it and then a half of a teaspoon of regular white sugar and a pinch of salt. I added the salt first and then the sugar, so don't think I added all of that salt in the end it was actually the half a teaspoon of sugar I'm just gonna mix it all together until it's well combined and let it sit in the fridge until I'm ready to serve to my shredded carrots the directions tell me to use some oil but I wasn't feeling using oil so I just very much put these dry carrots in this pan and let them get soft on their own and then I don't know what it is about HelloFresh but they only believe in salt and pepper as seasonings but I'm gonna do it this one time I'm gonna do it this one time but pretty soon I'm gonna have to start kicking in my own seasonings because it's not it's not doing it for me um but I'm just going to saute these until they get soft this took me about four to five minutes but we're gonna speed it up so you don't have to stay here that entire time and then once they're soft I'm gonna put them in a white bowl and let them cool off until I'm ready to plate them. Moving on to the meat mixture, I'm adding my ground turkey to a pan, breaking it up and making it all crumbly. Is that a word, crumbly? It is today. And I'm gonna cook it until all the pink is gone. I was supposed to put the whites of my scallions in the pan first, but we're just gonna add them a little bit late as you're about to see. That's okay, they tasted fine. Honestly, you can't tell the difference in my opinion. I don't know if the food would have tasted different if I put the scallions in first, but I'm adding them in, sauteing it. And once all of the pink is gone, cause we are not eating pink turkey, okay? We're not doing it. I'm gonna add half a pack of the sesame seeds, cook those in for a little bit. It. The directions say for about four to six minutes. I believe I did that. And then I added the rest of the vinegar, which was about another tablespoon. And then once I let that cook for 30 seconds, I'm going to add that huge packet of the bulgogi sauce. And we're gonna pretend like I'm saying this word correct because I don't really know. I don't really know. But we are going to saute that. I'm gonna drop the heat down to a simmer and let it get all thick and sticky. And then that's really gonna be it for the cooking portion. Now it did say that I could season with salt and pepper, but we're just so over salt and pepper. I'm gonna just let them be great. Now I'm just gonna fluff the rice. It's a little bit wet here, but I kept it on the stove on low heat and allowed it to dry out just a little bit more, but the rice actually turned out perfect. So definitely make the swap with the chicken broth and water because water was definitely not gonna do it for me. I mean, it might do it for you, but for more flavor, go for the chicken broth. Now it's time to plate it. I ended up dividing the rice into three sections for caloric purposes. I'm also not super huge on rice, so I didn't put as much rice as the recipe called me to serve, but that's okay. I'm just plating my cucumbers, the carrots, and then topping it off with the ground turkey, finishing it off with a little bit of the sesame seeds and green scallions for a little razzle dazzle, and that's dinner number one. Next 
up is the steakhouse style pork chops that I swapped the pork for chicken, so steakhouse style chicken cutlets, let's call it. Here is the card, she looks so cute. It says prep time was 10 minutes, it definitely took me Oh, haha. Ha. Definitely took me more like 30 minutes to cook this whole thing, but that's what it says there. Okay, anyway, so let's see what we got in the bag. So as you can see here, they have everything already pre-proportioned. I love that because then you're not wasting. So we have some broccoli florets, one yellow onion. It was kind of small, but I think that worked out okay. This random packet of Caesar dressing. I had no idea what I was gonna do with this in the beginning, but it all worked out. Then I have this like beef stock concentrate and a packet, some bold and savory steak spice, one lemon and six of the cutest little potatoes. Look how small and cute. Anyway, this is everything that I need to make this dish aside from the chicken, cause I don't know where it was in that frame, but we're gonna use it. Off camera, I rinsed and dried, well, mostly just rinsed all of my produce. And now I'm just going to finely mince an onion. I mean, it's kind of like a fine dice, not really mince, but just go with me here. And then I'm going to cut all of my little potatoes into bite-sized pieces so I can prepare them for seasonings and then throwing them in the oven. Now that all my potatoes are diced, it is time to season them. And again, I don't know what HelloFresh's beef is with seasoning, but salt and pepper is not gonna cut it for me here. So I'm adding salt and pepper, of course, but I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of paprika for some color and of course some garlic powder because why would you ever? Like, why would you not? I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of olive oil, mix it all together, and then we're gonna put it on our little baking sheet, bake it in the oven for about five minutes on their own, and then I'm gonna add the broccoli. Oh, don't let me forget to mention, I baked the potatoes for five to seven minutes the first round at 425 degrees before adding the broccoli. <laughs> are in the oven I'm just going to season air quote season my broccoli with salt and pepper like the directions told me to and then I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of olive oil toss them all together and then I'm gonna put them on the baking sheet once the timer goes off and pop them in the oven at 425 degrees for about 22 minutes <laughs> along with this prep I'm going to season my chicken with a little bit of salt and then using the steak spice seasoning and it says use as much as will stick so I pretty much used the entire thing and I'm just going to make sure that my chicken is coated on all sides so that it gets a really good crust when I put it in the pan maybe I have a problem but I don't know why I was so hype when it said use as much seasoning as will stick because you know your girl loves seasonings and before anybody comes in the comments there was no salt in the seasoning packet I checked there's no salt so I can get away with using that much seasoning because I had to add the salt myself. So anyway, I'm just going to put them in a lightly greased pan. I really try not to use regular olive oil, but I'm out of spray olive oil. So it had to do for now and that's completely fine. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna sear the chicken on both sides, making sure that the inside is not pink because I'm not even gonna say it, you already know. And if you don't know, somebody tell them in the comment section because I just feel like we're done with this disclaimer. Once my chicken is done, I'm just gonna set it aside, place it on my cutting board, allow it to cool down 
and all of the juices to redistribute throughout the meat and now I'm gonna start with my gravy actually I don't know if this is considered a gravy maybe it's more of a sauce but I'm going to take that entire yellow onion that I finely minced I'm gonna saute it in a pan for about three minutes letting it get really soft then I'm gonna add my beef stock packet concentrate I don't know what it's called it's just it says stock concentrate that's what it says on the card so that's what we're gonna go with and I'm gonna follow up with a quarter cup of water then it says to season really well <laughs> <laughs> season really generously with pepper I don't know why this is so funny to me because I never thought that like salt and pepper like was actual like seasoning seasoning you know what I'm saying like just that alone but anyway you learn something new every day and then finally once it's cooked down all the way you're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of the Caesar dressing I did that off the heat and then I realized that my mixture was a little bit dry so I thinned it out with just a little bit of water so I put it back on the stove just in case it was too runny and it was not and then that's basically the sauce. Now that my broccoli and potatoes are done, I'm just going to toss them in the pan, making sure that they did not stick. The broccoli definitely did stick and I should have put aluminum down, but whatever. And then I'm just going to squeeze on some lemon juice because broccoli and lemon is an elite combo. And then I'm going to toss that together, add a little bit of the lemon zest that I zested off camera because I don't have a lemon zester and I was not about to embarrass myself twice in this video. So I did that off camera and now I'm just gonna go ahead and plate. So we're gonna start with our broccoli followed by our potatoes. The potatoes were 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know if the salt and pepper would have just done it, but these potatoes were fire. And then I'm gonna follow up with my sliced chicken, top it off with the creamy sauce, which is surprising because y'all know how I feel about creamy sauces. I don't do that, but the Caesar dressing was a really nice touch and it didn't taste like overly Caesar-y. You know, I'm just making up words as we go. It's fine, it's cool, whatever. But yeah, this was actually really good. And then I'm going to go ahead and plate my leftovers in my meal prep containers. You guys know I get these meal prep containers from Amazon. They'll be linked down below in the description box. Like why? Why would the potatoes drop like that? Stop it. I swear the moment I start cooking on camera, everything just starts going wrong. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up with my chicken, top it off with the sauce, and that is my second meal. All right, so for our third and final meal, I am making this salmon limon. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, here are all the ingredients. So I have a bag of couscous, some green scallions, one really big zucchini, a lemon, another packet of chicken stock. This time it's chicken concentrate, not beef. And then I have this Italian seasoning blend that also has no salt in it, and then one tomato. Oh yeah, there was definitely sour cream, but we're tossing that because I don't like it. And then obviously here are my two salmon fillets. And here is the beautiful card. This dish actually looks so good. I really wish that I like sour cream because it just looks really good on top of the dish, but I know it's not for me. So per usual, I'm starting with some freshly washed produce and now I'm just going to chop everything up. So I'm going to thinly slice some green scallions and I'm gonna separate the green part from the white part as per the directions. And then I'm gonna follow up by quartering the zucchini and chopping it into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm only gonna chop half of the tomato because I'm not really too big on tomatoes, but I do like the color, so I did half. Now I know I need to invest in a smaller pot, I'm working on it, but in a large pot, I'm going to be preparing the couscous. So I have a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna add the lighter parts of the scallions followed by the couscous and the Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to toast the couscous for about two to three minutes in the pan over medium heat. And once it's toasted, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of water and then our chicken concentrate. If you don't have that, just use chicken stock. I think that's what they, like that's why they do this because they're not trying to give you the chicken broth and the beef broth. They'll just give you the little packet because it's more convenient and it's not gonna go bad. So add that, added a little bit of salt for seasoning and then I gave it a good stir, popped on the lid and I'm gonna allow it to cook. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna saute up my zucchini and a little bit of olive oil per the directions, and I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper, just like the directions say to. I believe I added a little bit of garlic powder too because I just couldn't bring myself to, yeah, that's garlic powder. Couldn't bring myself to just do salt and pepper, but I only added a little bit. And I'm just gonna saute that until the zucchini are a little bit soft and they've got some good color on the outside. I think the next time I try HelloFresh, I'm just gonna try making all of their dishes using the seasonings that they tell me, just doing it with salt and pepper. That'll be the ultimate test for me because y'all already know, I just wanna use every seasoning in my spice rack. Okay, now I'm just gonna pat dry my salmon. I had it soaking in a little bit of water and lemon juice. That's just what I like to do, but now I wanna dry it completely so that my seasoning stick. I'm gonna use the rest of the Italian seasoning and a little bit of salt, just as the direction said. I didn't add anything extra. And then I'm just gonna evenly coat it on all sides and then I'm just gonna sear it in the pan skin side down. I believe I had it over medium high heat in a non grease skillet for five to seven minutes on the bottom side, not touching it at all because I want it to get nice and crispy on the bottom. Once the salmon is about 50% done, I'm gonna flip it so that it's on the top side and then I'm gonna allow that to cook for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna sear it on the other two sides because I felt like the cut was a little bit thick and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't eating raw salmon because this is not sushi grade salmon. We cannot be eating raw salmon. I didn't wanna run the risk. I didn't wanna take that chance and give myself a stomach ache. So now that the salmon is done, I'm going to add my zucchini, the rest of the scallions, some lemon juice and the chopped tomato to my couscous and I'm gonna mix that all together I had to wait for the couscous to cool because I didn't want to have like hot tomatoes that really doesn't sit right with my spirit hot tomatoes so I wanted to make sure that the couscous was cool before I added all of these things in there and now I'm gonna go ahead and plate So in my white bowls that I get from Target, cause I know I get this question a lot where I get these bowls, they're literally like $6 from Target. I'm gonna plate a heaping portion of my zucchini and couscous and I'm gonna top it off with the salmon. And as I don't like sour cream, I still wanted a little glaze on top. So I just used some Rachel Ray's balsamic reduction and that was it. Here I am just showing you guys how I put it in my meal prep containers, but you already know how to do this. So this is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.